The big story at four, the family of Sonia Massey is demanding justice one day after a video showing her being shot by police went public. The sheriff's deputy who killed Massey is now charged with murder. Tara Molina joins us now. Tara, we heard from Massey's mother and son today. That's right, Jim and Marie. And the point we heard from Sonia Massey's family again and again today, she was not only shot and killed by law enforcement, but they claim law enforcement then tried to cover it up. And they say if it weren't for the video, no one would know the truth. We want to warn you, it's video that's hard to watch. Oh, it hurts you. You called us. Body camera video of the deadly police shooting earlier this month. Sonia Massey called 911 to report a prowler outside of her home and Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson and his partner showed up. You see them outside and then inside her house. Deputy Grayson eventually instructing Massey to check on the stove. He says they don't need a fire while there. That's when things take a turn. Massey turns off the stove and picks up the pot. That's when Deputy Grayson raises his gun. Massey is seen apologizing and ducking for cover. That's when he shoots her. Three shots are heard. Massey's family speaking out in a press conference today with their attorney, Ben Crump, after meeting with Governor J.B. Pritzker this morning, where they called for legislation to improve policing. Massey's 17-year-old son and mother sitting down with CBS News this afternoon. They say police weren't transparent about what happened. They said it's under investigation, and then they said that they told the doctor at uh, the hospital that she committed suicide first, and then they changed it. Uh, they, they kept didn't changing even call the story. Me and told me they didn't. Yeah, they just kept because they told her that, but they they called me. The hospital told me that someone just shot her, so they just telling everybody different stories. We're gonna get justice for sure. I know. We are for sure. The sheriff's deputy involved, Sean Grayson, has worked for six different law enforcement agencies since 2020. His attorney is declining comment. Coming up at six, we'll have more on this from police use of force expert David Harris, including a breakdown of the body camera video we first showed you yesterday. Okay. Thanks, Tara. We'll see you at six. Thank, Thank you, Tara. Yeah, so, um, you know, I kind of struggled with this one. Not sure if, you know, I wanted to kind of recover this or talk about it. Uh, but I just, I don't know, it, it, this, this, this kind of stuff, it, it doesn't make any sense. And um, it, it's unbelievable, yet here we are again. You know, that situation and many others like this one, I think is why some people don't trust police. Um, and I know there are going to be some people who will say that not all officers are bad or don't blame all police officers for the uh, the actions of a few bad apples. But the problem is that this is just, Oh, this is not just a, a few bad apples. You know, this is a, a chronic and uh, widespread problem throughout the country. You know, and, and the people in these leadership positions within these uh, law enforcement agencies, you know, they can sit there and, and talk about more training for the officers and implementing all these programs and and how and they can have all this, this equipment like body cams, which this guy didn't have his on. He turned his body cam on after he shot Sonya Massey. Um, but it, but it's clear that something isn't working when it comes to, uh, you know, how these uh, interactions go with some of these officers that they have, you know, when they, you know, you know come in contact with people. Um, this former officer, Sean Grayson, you know, he's been with multiple police agencies or departments, and he has two DUIs on his record. And after all of that, he was still allowed to walk around with a badge and a gun, you know, and, and honestly, I, I think it was only a matter of time before he ended up doing something like this. Um, but my thing, you know, with this situation, I, I believe they went into Sonia Massey's home looking to catch her up on something. They were looking for something that they could um, arrest her for because there was no reason for them to even be inside her home. You know, they were called there because of a report uh, of a possible prowler outside of her home, not inside, but outside the home. And after they conducted their search around the, the uh, perimeter of her house and told her they didn't find anybody, that's where it should have ended. And if they needed a name for their report, get her name right there on the porch and, and go back to the squad car to finish the report and move on. But instead, they went into her home. And like I said, I think they went in there looking for something. They went in there to snoop around and to be nosy 
And, and, and for this guy, uh, when he didn't see anything, I think that sent him over the edge because, you know, he seemed kind of pissed from the, you know, the, the, the point of initial contact, you know, that he made with Sonya Massey when she didn't answer the door fast enough to his liking. And, and with the whole ball and water thing, you know, th- there was a kitchen counter separating her from, you know, from them where if she decided to throw that, 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 uh, that pot of water, all he had to do was back up to the door or go out the door because that water, it, it's going to drop as soon as it leaves that pot. You know, that boiling water excuse, I think, was just made up or something that he came up with on the fly to somehow justify what he had just done, hoping that some of his other buddies would go along with that story. So it's going to be interesting um, to see where things go from here. And, uh, you know, hopefully this woman's family can get some justice. And and I don't know, man, just maybe try to find some peace because, I mean, this is it's horrible. And this this. This shouldn't have happened at all. So y'all take care, stay safe, make better choices. Peace, y'all.